guys, Captain Foley back with you for another Eagle Moss unboxing. Um, it's been a while, not only for Eagle Moss reviews, but also for these unboxings, just because I haven't got anything. It's been literally four or five months now that I haven't got anything from Eagle Moss. Finally got a new shipment in. Um, I don't know what happened. There was, I would email the rep and they'd say that uh, they were changing warehouses and that there was a shipment ready and it's going to be sent out soon. I just kept getting put off, put off, put off. But anyway, it finally came. Uh, the thing is, only two of the things in here are things I requested for review. So I did get a, quite a bit of stuff, which is great. Um, and we're going to go through it now. We're going to pull it out of the box, look at it, show you guys what it is. And I want you guys to comment down below which of these items you want me to have to be the first review because um, to get back into the Eagle Moss reviews. I got a huge list of Eagle Moss reviews, a whole playlist of it on this channel as well as the Trek Yards main channel. So if you haven't checked those out, check them out. There might be a ship you're interested in and you want to know if I, re if I reviewed it. By all means go and check out the playlist. Just type in the name of the ship and Eagle Moss and you should find the review. Um, so there's a few things here we're going to look at real quick and yeah, welcome back guys. It is now, what is today? It is February 10th, 2022. So, these ships are going to be on the review block very soon. So, anyway, let's get into it. By the way, subscribe to this channel, the Captain Floyd Personal Channel, for behind the scenes videos like this, uh, as well as a lot of other good stuff. And if you're not subscribed to Trek Yards, go over and subscribe to Trek Yards, our main channel, where we look at all, all things Star Trek, but specifically the ships and the tech. So, without any further ado, let's get into it. Let's pull them out in order here. Uh, the first one is a Star Trek Online USS Enterprise NCC-1701F refit. I just realized there's a huge glare from that light behind there, but that's okay. So, this is one of the uh, Star Trek Online ships. Um, I do have this one already, but eh, it's... I'm pretty sure I've reviewed this one as well, so got that one. I don't know if they're just trying to get rid of some things here. Some of these are kind of questionable at best as to whether they would sell or not. So yeah, that's the first one. <coughs> Next up we'll go with one of the bigger boxes in here. This is a Relay Station 47. As you can see there. Now I do have the large uh, space dock there, but this is one that I did request because I thought it looked cool. I'm going to take it out of the box real quick, get a good look at it. And like I said, um, while you're watching, keep track of what I'm showing you here and see what you guys want me to review um, first because I don't know where to start necessarily. But there's the little book that comes with it. That arch light behind you is quite bright. It's from my model table. My model table's right behind you guys, which everything's kind of set up down here now. So I'm going to start building models and stuff again. Not only Star Trek related models, but other ones as well. So again, if you want to see that kind of stuff, tune into this channel. So subscribe to this channel. But um, yeah, I got my main desk set up here, and then the uh, model table's just over there. So I just didn't expect that arch light to actually reflect quite so much. But here is Station 47. Actually, that's really intricate and detailed and quite cool. There's a lot of really nice little greeblies and stuff on there. So yeah, this one I'm looking forward to reviewing. This one's really nice. For a relay station, it's like, you'd think, eh, but I think it's quite good, actually. So yeah, I'm excited to get into that one. But these aren't going to be the reviews, obviously. I'm not going to go into too much detail here on the quality and stuff. I just kind of want to show you guys what's going on, what I got, and uh, what you guys can come to expect. So um, We'll go with the next one because it's, it's next. This one is also one that I requested. Um, this is the Wallenberg Class Tug from Picard. This is quite an interesting design. And uh, I was eager to see this thing in person because in the show it's kind of like a quick glance of it. A few of them actually, but um, there's the ship there. Mm -hmm. So 
here it is. Quite a good size too. Well, it just says tug on the back. But this is actually a really nice model and a really cool design. Could make a cool little fighter or something as well. So, but anyway, that is the Wallen Wallenberg class tug. Ironically, today too is the same day that Discovery Season 4, Episode 8, All In came out. Um, so Samuel and my, myself already recorded a few episodes for you guys on the Trek Yards channel. We'll be doing our full live review and reaction tomorrow, which is Friday. So, um, yeah. Now you know when this is set. And I hate when, video, when YouTubers do videos and they like, yeah, a month ago this happened or whatever. It's like, yeah, but give us some context. Where are you now? <laughs> so there you go. Um, all right, now for some that I don't really, didn't request, don't like, don't care about. The Sona Battleship. The Sona Battleship. I, I, just, I don't even know. I don't even know what to say about this. This is just... I don't even know. So there's the book. Sorry if that light's too bright. I'll have to change it up for the next unboxing I do. But so there's the Sona battleship, and again, it actually looks more like a a weapon. Like yeah, yeah, I'm gonna mess you up, man. Bah. But uh, it's impressive level of detail and stuff, but. So now everybody's rushing to the comments. Do that one first, do that one first, do that one first. <laughs> it's like, I have no love for it. There's one I got in here that was a complete surprise to me, and I'm glad I got it for sure. Um, but we'll get to that one probably last. Probably save that one for last. So Next up, uh, again, this is just god awful. The Romulan flagship from Picard. I don't care is, is so intense. There it is there, there's the book. And it's funny too, this one is such a huge box, but the ship takes up that much. It's actually quite a small ship. Um, that's it there. I think this is the front too, which is super weird. But it looks very much like a, a stingray or a bird if, if this was the front. It's like whoosh. And it should be the front. But the way it's depicted on the on the book is like this is the front here. So boo for that choice. Going the other way, probably looks too much like a bird, but that is the Romulan motif. So I don't know what to, what to think, what to say, what to do. Don't, don't know. And by all means, don't, don't just comment on what you want me to review first. Let me know what you think of some of these designs. Do you agree with me when I'm pulling them out? Or, or what's the situation here? Now we got two more um, Star Trek Online ships. We got the USS Edison. Which I'm not going to take these ones out of the package, but there's the Edison number 17. And the A AFS Kittimer CSN01. This is a quite an odd design. Uh, yeah. Eh. The Edison's not so bad, but this other one is like, why are you? What are you doing? <clears throat> so these ones are, I believe, Kelvin verse. From the Kelvin films. This one is the USS Armstrong, which there it is there on the side. What's coming soon on the back? We got the Valiant K 
Kazon Raider, the Newton Death Ship, Nomad, and Calibrian Observation Craft. I'm really looking forward to Nomad. I've always wanted a model or something of Nomad, so I'm looking forward to that one for sure. But I mean, I don't hate it. I think the Armstrong is an interesting looking class of ship for sure. This is the one that has the three nacelles as well. So, low three nacelle designs. What can I say? Uh, this one is the USS Mayflower, which is kind of like a simplistic, reliant version uh, from Kelvinverse. It's got that Kelvinverse aesthetic, even the uh, the hull color and the texturing and the lettering. So, I'm pretty sure that these are. Kelvinverse. I didn't know they were doing them in this kind of special packaging. I don't know if this is the new packaging, but I like it because it, it has the book in there and everything. It's one of the things I hated about the original Eagle Moss co collection line is the books were so big, but the the ships were all in generic packaging. I like this, like the lineup of ships on the side and even pictures of the uh, ship and what's in the book. So, uh, This I didn't even know I wanted until I got it, so that's good. Um, this is the Star Trek Starfleet ships updated and ex expanded 2294 to the future. So it's actually quite a bit thicker than the original one. Um, this one includes fully revised and updated featuring the USS Shang C from Picard and the ships from the 32nd century of Discovery. So this has got all the new Discovery future ships in it and stuff. Um, so, oh, it does, uh, this is expanded with 17 new starships from Picard, Lower Decks, and the third season of Discovery. Problem with books, like, I love books, don't get me wrong. I've got a video saying I'm addicted, I have an addiction, and it's to books. I love books. I love buying books. I love the feel of books. I love the smell of a new book. <laughs> Never have time to read most of the ones I get. But the problem with books, especially for this kind of format, and even like the Star Trek encyclopedia, they're always adding to Star Trek, especially now with all the new shows on. So this is already outdated because this covers ships in season three of Discovery, not season four. Not that there's any been any new real ships in season four, but you know what I mean? Like the books are always being updated. So it's kind of a shame to even get a book. But I love books. Now for the last thing. This is the thing I'm most excited for because this is an impressive. And I didn't even know this was a thing, so I would have requested it had I had known. But here it is. This is one of their XL lines. USS Equinox XL. Pretty substantial size box. And, and yes, I took a peek at all these before I showed them to you guys just because I had to cut off all the, the stupid stickers they put on the tabs now but there's the uh, magazine for it and if you watch my reviews I go through the magazine I talk about what's in there I um, show off the, the ship in quite a bit of detail and give my thoughts on the construction the quality job the you know all that stuff so Look at this thing. Look at the size of this thing. This is like the smallest little ship. The Nova is such a small little ship, but to have such a big XL version of it and such great details. I'm sure that light's blowing everything out as far as lighting goes. I should have toned it down a bit because I can adjust the volume, but uh, the volume, the uh, brightness. But yeah, look at this thing. This is cool. This is cool. The nacelles are clear, so you got you can I can see the light coming through them, so they're glowing blue for me. And there's no pins in them. Well, that's a lie. There's a pin right there at the back, which I wish they would have pushed back a little further. But so this review is going to be fun. This is a nice desk model. A lot of these work really well as desk models. Like right now, I have the uh, uh, Discovery Enterprise over by my desk lamp there. Uh, I had the Orville there for about a month. I'm going to change up the ship that I have there on a regular basis. But this is super awesome. I gotta say. So, 
anyway that's it for the ships guys um, like I said comment down below what you thought of some of these designs are these ones you would have requested for these ones you want to these ones you have uh, what do you think of the ones you have if you do have them I want to know I want to know your thoughts and I want you to know which one you want me to review first um, so there are quite a few uh, larger versions and then the smaller STO ones and stuff so let me know what you guys want like I said subscribe to the channel um, both this one the Captain Foley personal channel and the main Trek Yards channel and uh, yeah look out for future content from me um, and check out other videos as well so until next time guys I'm Captain Foley and uh, this has been an Eagle Moss unboxing for February <laughs> see you guys